So I've seen a lot of things as a reporter, but I've never seen a guy in a suit of armor walk through lightning completely unharmed. Until now. Like this is real lightning hitting a real person and they also look like a knight. I just thought the combination of it was really good. That's Jake Bisson in the armor. Those things emitting lightning are Tesla coils, which are essentially electrical transformers. He wears protective clothing underneath so he doesn't get hurt. He's only been shocked a few times and that's pretty surprising. The armor acts as a cool visual display to show off what his company, Tesla Knight Productions in St. Francis, can do. So we'd really like to work with music artists. Uh, that's the biggest thing um, because the coils are actually basically musical instruments, um, but they also have a really good visual aspect to them. When the Tesla coils are connected with music making software, you can turn notes into songs via lightning. Together with his friend and business partner, Sam Catania, who owns MUSX, which does the engineering for Tesla coils, they want to help artists make music, shoot music videos, and do live shows. I really wanted to push kind of where visual displays of science can, can go into the arts. They've already worked with some musicians like the Milwaukee band Immortal Girlfriend to shoot a music video and do a live show. Together, the duo wants to push the boundaries of music and science to create something new. I really want to know where these things break. Not, not, not literally, but where can we find the limitations of these things? This was actually Sam's first time walking through the lightning. And I just had to know, what did it feel like? It's just weird, because you don't feel anything. And you, I feel like it, you know, from the effect, like you should feel something. Which is shocking or actually not shocking, which I guess is a good thing for Sam. James Groh, TMJ4 News.